Welcome to my Dior Book Tote Club. I'm so excited to show you this beautiful Salle La Bruste, which is a library dedicated to the arts, and to show you some of my favorite books, past and present. Let's go. The first book is the Todd Haynes Exhibition Catalog. He's one of my favorite filmmakers, and I was lucky enough recently to get to work with him. His works, which are just some of the most important films for me. I mean, Safe is one of my all-time favorites, which he made with Julianne Moore in the 90s, and it's just incredible to see all his visual references, like for Superstar, this is from Far From Heaven, Julianne's costume fittings. It's just an incredible way to see the ideas that informed his filmmaking. First book, Todd Haynes. Susan Sontag's On Photography is still the most compelling thing I've read about how we consume images, how we look at things, how we look at art, and particularly about war photographs. I think it's really meaningful right now in the world to think about how we are becoming desensitized to images because of the overabundance of, of those kinds of images that we get now through Instagram and her ideas are so precise at all feels like logical, but I never would have thought it on my own, which is like the greatest gift a writer can give you. My third book is When We Cease to Understand the World by Benjamin Labatute. It's one of the most miraculous books I've ever read. It kind of weaves together science and math. It's the biographies interwoven of people who discovered incredible things in their kind of passion. It combines with the kind of madness of the obsession of that pursuit and some of their discoveries led to the destruction of the world in many ways. Libraries in general are so meaningful to me because just the concepts that we share knowledge and that you have so much access to everything when you share it with everyone is just a beautiful concept in life. So it's a great way to experience books. This is the first in the four Neapolitan novels by Elena Ferranti. It reminded me of like reading in my childhood because I just could not put them down. I was just reading and reading voraciously. It's the story of a friendship between these two girls and into their womanhood. And they're just the most alive characters and it's the most true portrait of female friendship I've ever read. And then also of womanhood and all its complexity and challenges. And she voices doubts about motherhood, about men. It allows you to feel things that you might not allow yourself to feel otherwise. Well, Rebecca Sonnet is one of my favorite essayists. She writes about everything from feminist topics to the environment, and this is a book completely dedicated to hope, which I think is so inspiring. She argues that change is possible. She does note the changes and the incredible movements that activists have brought to the forefront, like Me Too, that have already made an impact and that there's possibility for more. Hope is not like a lottery ticket you can sit on the sofa and clutch feeling lucky. I say it because hope is an axe you can break down doors with in an emergency. Because hope should shove you out the door, because it will take everything you have to steer the future away from endless war, from the annihilation of the Earth's treasures, and the grinding down of the poor and marginal. Hope just means another world might be possible, not promised, not guaranteed. Hope calls for action. Action is impossible without hope. So this is a book of Shirin Neshat's photography. Um, Shirin is an Iranian contemporary photographer, an artist. She's been very influential to me. Um, her commentary on what it is to be a woman is extraordinary. Thank you for watching my Dior Book Tote Club, and I hope you have a great read. Mm -hmm.